hello it's Sarah and I am going to attempt a little tutorial type walkthrough of how I do my ATCs in the collage style I call it now I don't know if that's officially right but you're kind of piling things on top of each other to create your card it's, it's like almost like when you make a card or even um, you know you're just embellishing this card like you would um, a greeting card um, so what I've done is I've gathered up, this is the Couture uh, paper line from Graphic 45, um, <clears throat> and I've cut out, I fussy cut out a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be doing um, some easel cards too, so I have lots of different um, pieces. I'm gonna, I'll move the camera over. Um, you know, I, I fussy cut her out. The paper line comes with uh, cut aparts and things that you can use. Um, but these obviously are too big for ATCs. Um, then they have littler things like this, these tickets, tickets and stamps. So that's what I've kind of pulled aside. I, I got, and then words and things. Um, I've also pulled some embellishments that I think would go nice with this line. I'm going to save these um, cameos and stuff this one too for the card because they're bigger because with ATCs you got to try and come up with littler like smaller embellishments so trims pearls I'm gonna do one in silver and one in gold I think so this is some silver and white trims um, bling uh, you know like there's the blue I have the blue somewhere I pulled the blue and black of this bling um, and then some gold buttons and different uh, filigrees and things, a uh, fleur de lis because it is a French uh, couture. It's about style and stuff, so you could do that. Um, I pulled some papers that I thought this is just the AT, the backings that I use um, that I thought would look nice for background papers. And these, I love the blue. I think I'm going to use the blue. Um, are double sided so you can you know but these were just three of the papers that I chose to work with so um, let me show you what I came up with um, I think I have some pretty cute looking cards here so this one's gonna be the silver one so we'll do that first I'm gonna use this as my background paper um, you know what? I'm going to move this to the side a little. It's just easier for me so I don't have to, um, why am I making a shadow? Um, I, I'm going to use a piece of a doily and I had sprayed these doilies previously with, um, I think it was, uh, that didn't help, did it guys? I don't know what's going on with my light lately. It's really bugging me. Maybe I'll just go there. Still a shadow. I think I'll try it without it. I'll have a look and see what it looks like and then you know maybe I'll do the other one but um all right so this is the little pieces of the uh paper line that I, I fussy cut this out you know what I have to ink all the edges so I'll go away and come back after I do that but this is just what I've come up with so I was saying about the doily I sprayed some um gold what is it called uh gosh it's over there perfect pearls the perfect pearls in the gold so it has a little shimmer to it um, you know what I just need the light I don't know um, so I have basically it's just these are the elements from the paper that I'm going to use I'm going to use them as this these two pieces I'm going to glue them down to this edge and then I think I want to put the doily and this is just a matter of like playing so I've I've cut a bunch of different colors of trims, not a bunch, but a few that I think would go with the paper line. And then the doily, it's just a feminine touch, so that can go there. And then um, for trims, I think I want to put this, you know what, I'm going to put the filigree in this corner. I love the filigrees, as you know. Um, and you just start building and layering, and that's why I consider this collage, because you're, you're kind of layering and building and then this bling I think I want to put along the bottom I don't know I kind of did a rough a, a, a rough what do you call it run through before I um, put the camera on to see what, if I was going to like it 
and then this will go in the corner. I might pop that up and then I love this bling and put that up there. Um, I think that's how that one's going to turn out. So I think that's kind of cute. We'll pop some stuff up. I got to ink all the edges. I did have this bling that I was thinking I would add, but I don't think it needs it at all. I think there's plenty of blue in the background. Um, so I'm not going to use that. And then, then I'm going to do, this one is the gold. And these are the elements that I pulled out to use for this. So again, now this is just the reverse side of that flower one that I'm using for that. It's the reverse side. And I'm using the, so this is the, actually the reverse side of that blue. So I'm just using the reverse side. Because I like them to tie it in together. Like, like when I've been doing, um, the, when I did my other Graphic 45 uh, ATCs, I kind of had them tie in together. So that's what I kind of try to do. So um, I have some gold bling and gold and pearls again. But see how like there was a little bit of the orange here, so I pulled the orange ticket. So that's gonna be, oh, first I wanna lay this piece of, I love this lace and I think it was one of my ladies that sent this to me. And I don't remember what, which package it came out of, but I'm pretty sure that was from one of you guys. Um, and then this will go along the bottom, I believe I was gonna do it. No, 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 the top, because um, I'm going to play that, oops, oh, and then I have this black Chinese, um, what do they call that, Chinese braid to pull that down, because this is a very black background, so I could either put, I like to put it on an angle too, so this is just, like I said, the dry run here, that bling will go across the top. This will go across there. The pearls will go down here. And then this bling over in the corner. Something like that. So that's the process that I go through. Like I said, I pull out all my stuff. Like I don't have any, oh wait, I did. I have this little shoe. These are the buttons. Remember I, I love to um, play with these buttons. The Florida de Lee, gold Florida de Lee. I'm, I could add that still. I love that. Then there's a little cameo here, which is super cute. And nothing's going on on the bottom, so I might add the little cameo. Um, what is this? Just a little, another little button. Um, I like the shoe a lot, so maybe I'll put the shoe down here. So we'll see. I'll have to, once I get things starting to get glued down and popped up and moved around, then you start to you can when you can see it visualize it and it's not all falling apart because then I have this little word too that I cut out lovely so I, I could put that somewhere you know I like it on this one because it's got the um, more creamy background and then I think I used white pearls on both because yeah I like I think these are going to be good um, the reason that I have these, um, these are made out of that file folder. I cut my file folders to two and a half by three and a half because if I were to put a brad through the paper or anything that you do, sometimes people like to put ribbon around and wrap it up toward the back too. It'll be hidden. Then I'm going to glue this paper onto here and it makes it much more sturdy because this is just, you know, I mean, it, actually Graphic 45 is a nice sturdy paper but it's still paper it's not it's not going to hold up that well so you I like to put everything on um, a backing and then you can stamp it with your um, information or there's also I have a printable that I use it's just like then I will glue that onto there so I'm going to go away and come back um, with everything all inked and then um, I'll go ahead and show you how, what glues I use and all that stuff all right so I'll be right back Okay, so this one, the silver one I've inked with black soot. It's the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink Black Soot. And I'm gonna, gonna talk about glue. Um, I actually use several glues for this. My go-to glue is the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I use this on all paper things, like if it's paper. Um, the metal, sometimes I use glossy accents, sometimes I don't. Um, but I usually do like I probably will use it for this big button um, 
and stuff like that. And then this is the Fabri-Tac by Beacon, and I use this on all my fabric. If I use any trims, um, material trims, I will use this. Um, I also use it for these little trims too. It holds, it, it's awesome glue, and it's tacky. It's, it's all, it's already tacky. Um, the other thing, and I've mentioned this in other videos, this is the Scotch, I think it's called a mounting tape, but it's um, what I use to pop as my pop dots. Um, and you can cut it apart to the size you need. I'm gonna pop up this little piece, so I just kind of, oh, excuse me, cover the back as best you can, um, and that's what I use for that, all right? So I'm gonna move this to the side a little bit so that I can, uh, I won't bump into things. And the first thing I wanna do is add the papers, the trim papers that I've put and I love this glue. I also use my tweezers, these little guys, and I am not working with my Ot light on right now, and I hope we have good lighting. I'm gonna have to see what it looks like. Um, and I use them a lot to, to place things with. I'm gonna put it this way. And you just choose a side that you like, um, that's about design like you're just going to design it what what you like just however you like it placement I mean not place design or placement I guess you could call it either one um, but it's really just what your eye likes and go with it just go with it don't um trying to make that flower show really this isn't going to show that much I try to put it to the edge and if there's any hanging off the edge I can cut it after but then sometimes I use a, um, a piece of paper towel to kind of push down with too and then wipe off the extra glue. But see how that's like kind of coming over the edge? You just cut it away. And then I'm gonna put, <clears throat> so I'm layering, I'm gonna put my filigree on and I am gonna use the glossy accents. And I kind of just put it on the edges. I don't put it all over because it, it gets maybe down the middle. So kind of shaped like an arrow. And put that in the corner. Sometimes I don't put it all the way up against the edge. I pull it in a little. I like that look too. It kind of leaves it like almost like you're matting um, when you mat your photo albums and stuff. But see how there's like a little a, a lip there? It doesn't go right up to the edge. I like that. Um, and then I think I want to put her, and I'm going to put her a little catty corner, I think. And then this I want to go over, and again, I'm going to leave a little lip there. See that little lip that I left so that you can see that? Because I think when I put this on, I want the edge of the, yeah, that's going to be good. The only thing I didn't really figure out exactly was where I want to put my trims. Like, do I want to put, I think I want the pearls to go down there. And then maybe I don't even need this piece of silver, but it might look good there. Just kind of peeking out because then this is going to go here and then this is going to go here, I think. So this is part of um, the process. You have to kind of, and placement, you have to figure out where you want to put things. Also, if I put this up here, those pearls are going to be in the way. If it were a flower, like, a, or anything that was fabric, it would, it would be fine. But I don't need them up there. Like, if this is going to go there, I don't need the pearls to be all the way up to that. So... Do I really need the pearls? And the other thing was, uh, <clears throat> I had a, I have a sentiment. A girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. That I think I kind of like this. I could put that down first, and then this. All right, you know what? We'll go ahead and put her down. And I'm going to use the quick dry adhesive, and I just go down all four sides and a little in the middle and I use my tweezers to hold it and kind of place it. Um, I, I like to put them off center like not straight although it might look pretty straight. 
I might do that straight actually. Um, see that's the thing, you just have to kind of figure out. I think I do like her straight. I do. And then I center it. So I would center it so that all those, the blue sides are kind of, um, but am I covering too much of the filigree? See that's what I wanted to show. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the catty corner. I always do catty corner. And they always say too when, you, when you're designing and stuff, to not have everything straight down the middle. Like to set things off to the side. And that's why I tend to do a border only on one side. And then you can, um, so let me see. I think I, oh, then we're going to go with the doily. And I'm putting this in a bit so that you can see that. Yep, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go just along the edges again. And I could probably use the Fabri-Tac for this, but I think the, um, the Scotch Quick Dry will do fine. Sometimes with doilies, you can see the glue through the doily too, so it's just um, as you get used to it, uh, you'll, you'll see what happens. All right. And again, like I just like to evenly leave a space because when I put the rose, this is actually the reason I did that is because I didn't think the rose showed up on top of this trim. So I wanted it to be, uh, have something behind it. But now I definitely think I'm going to put, so now I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac. Yeah, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac for the, um, the silver trim on the bottom. And I'm going to go right down the middle of that and put this here. If you guys haven't used Fabri-Tac, you got to try it. It's, it's sticky, but you can just ball it. Like it doesn't stay on you. Like it's, it's just, it's great. It's a great product. I love it. Um, so I like that. I think I'm going to move it down a tiny bit. All right. And then this should go right there. And I do want to put this, I think, but maybe it could go up this side. Do I want to put it up this side? Nah. I don't want to cover the um, filigree anymore. Alright, so you know what we should do though? Put this down first. Because then I'll be able to add the pearls and know how much I need. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to use glossy accents for that. So this is just ha how I build my collage, and it is. It's just putting things um, layering is what I'm trying to say. I just give that a push. I don't think my lighting's going to be very good in for this video. I'm going to go away and come back. So I want to see how much uh, pearl I need for this edge. And I'm going to go up to here. And again, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac because it just holds so nicely. And I'm just going to go right along this um, edge of where the doily is up to that. Uh, I don't think I got it um, right up to there, so. And it actually comes out really well out of the bottle, too. Like, you don't have to wait for it. It doesn't, it never gets globbed up. I can't say enough. I like it. All right, so I'm going to put this here. And I don't like how that connects, necessarily. It's not, um, but you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push the pearls all the way up and then... This will be covered by the uh, roses. So I'll make this how I like it. And then this will go kind of overlapping. Let me see. This doesn't, I don't need this. Um, I had uh, dimensional on there, 
but I don't because the way it's going to sit it's going to be on the pearl so I don't need dimensional on those two pieces I'll just use regular glue and then how about on the bottom I think I think we're good I don't really want it to hang over too much because uh, it will stick out of the um, of the um, like the little case that you put it in I don't like it when it sticks over but you know what I could always do just cut that leaf I think I might do that because I like how that's sitting all right so that is basically where I want that and that's all I really have for this one although like I said I have this oh I have this little flower I may I could add that or an actual um, fabric flower I might I might do that but let me pull these uh, dimensionals off the backing off the dimensionals I you know what I'm very uh, upset about my lighting I don't understand why I've always done tutorials and shares with this light on but it just seems so like um, glary today um, I'm gonna turn it back on in a minute I think because I don't like it it's dark to me so I just hold it with my tweezers and then you can kind of hold it and place it and see where you want it to go and I think I am going to put it right there and you just push down so those kind of overlap the um, I could put a little bit of adhesive under this leaf just to make sure it doesn't um, come loose I just I need the light it's better for me I can't see without it but over here does seem kind of plain and I have this uh, you know what I also have a uh, the shoe no no these are gold I can't use this all I, all I had pulled for this one is this little rose here which I don't love there I don't need it because there's already roses down here um, more pearls I mean these little pearls could probably go there I think that would actually look nice I think I might do that and it would just fill that spot all right so that's basically it for this one and I mean cute right and we just collaged all that stuff together and then I'm gonna pull in where's the other one right here and see what I have for this one I don't even remember how I had this I know the first thing I want to do is lay this um, trim down this is so pretty so I need Fabri-Tac for that and really I just do like lovely lovely could go over here too I could put lovely right there I might do that see that I have other words too where I could cu cut out another word so we'll see but for video sake I mean you, you see and I also had a piece of that blue this I was thinking I could put this blue bling down here but I really don't think it needs it this is too big anyway or I would probably cut it in half and just put half of it or something I don't know something's not right about that blue bling all right let me leave that alone sorry <laughs> let let's just go over here and get this one I didn't ink this one yet oh bugger really it's fine if I don't because I'm just going to kind of smoosh it around a little. This fabric tack is fantastic. And I'll make it a mess. Kind of just lay it down. I like to pull a tiny bit away from the edge. And I think I'm going to be using the black uh, Chinese braid right across the edge too. And I think this goes here. And the black Chinese braid is going to go on top of that. So this will go right up to the edge. Then the black Chinese braid. Then I have a piece of gold. This is going to go across the top. I don't know what I want to go first. 
then this is going to go a little bit off center that's going to go like that and then this is going to go down here or you know what I could do that and then Now I like the girls, I kind of want them to show. I don't want this orange and this orange to compete, so I'm going orange, black, orange. You see that? So that's why um, I have her up here, but I could put that on the bottom. But this one's on the bottom. So sometimes I like to do them opposite, even though this one's... Um, all right, you know what, let me cut this. Just cut this edge off. I can get a better look at it. I definitely know I want to use the Chinese braid down this edge so I can cut well I'll just sometimes I like to burn my edges so it doesn't um, fray but the fabric tack will hold that in place so if I'm gonna put the gold across do I want it to be oh first I have to put this first of all I'm gonna ink it um, I'm sorry I don't have, I don't know how to fast forward these videos because it probably, you know, you're doing it in real time. It kind of takes real time. <laughs> um, but I think it's kind of nice to see the process exactly. And see, I still like to go a little off the center. Yep, I do. I think I'm going to put the bling down first. And then the Chinese braid. But I don't know. Um, see, I don't want to put that there. I kind of do want it. Oh, I have the shoes. I have a lot of stuff, though, that I could do. Maybe I'll put the bling on top. I think put the bling on top. All right, so let's do um, this needs to go on top of and I'm going to use the fabric tack again because there's fabric there so I want to make sure this um, adheres to the fabric and I'll just use my fingers and line it up give it a push down and I'm going to cut that off I'll go away and come back cut this off Um, so let me see now, do I want to do this here, definitely, I definitely want to do that, um, this, oh I have pearls for this too, where's my pearls, see my pearls were going to go down this side, I think, um, and then I have the gold bling, which I guess it'll go over here. But see how that is going to be dimensional. Aha, I get my girls to stay. I think I like that. And then that, do I need the bling? Yeah, I do. See, it's got a little bit too much this going on right now. I'm not sure. Um, but I love the pearls over here. And I, I like the braid. Maybe I don't need the braid. Maybe I don't. But then there's no black. And then just that. Um, is that good enough, guys? Without the black? I kind of like it. I think I like this without the black. Alright, so I'm going to um, edge this ticket with some vintage photo. For this one I just decided with the gold I did a brown ink and then with the silver I did black. Um, Alright, I like that over that. This kind of guy like that. Do I want the pearls over here? No, because I'm going to put this bling back on this side. 
I'm going to put the bling there. And I'm going to put the pearls over here. Yep. Oh, nothing's popped up. Hmm. I didn't pop anything up on this one, but I can't really pop up this ticket because um, then the bling won't sit right. Um, let's see if I want to put... I could pop her up because she can sit on top of the um, ticket instead of have it go under. Let's see. See, this is just hit and miss back and forth you play around you see what you like but like if that's under she's going to be popped up and going over which I really don't like I think I like it layered underneath all right and then this all right that's what I'm going to do so the first thing I can do is put her down so I'm just going to use uh well I probably could use the fabric tack because this is going on a, a good portion of um, lace. So, how did I like that? Like that? No, it was like this. Yeah. And so I'm just going to center it right there. And then I'm going to use my paper. But see how it's not really sticking on the side? The glue doesn't really adhere to the lace. So I'm going to take this fabric tack. And I'm just going to go down this edge. And it comes right down to see it. It comes right down and just go right along there. And that will stick now. It will totally stick. Put that down. Then I like that. I think I'm going to stick this. And this has adhesive, adhesive on it, this gold. Um, I could still use the fabric tack, which I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to run this right down the center of that uh, paper trim there. And put that down the center. I could possibly pop this up, but I don't want to see that has to stick. Um, then when I put the pearls, I don't probably need all of them. I'm not going to overlap that. I can just put it up to it. Put this and then this. See, I really, really love this bling and I want that. But this could pop up and be on top of that. Hmm. <laughs> I could put it up too. I could kind of push this up a little and put this on the bottom and put this popped up. No, it doesn't look right there. Right here. No. See, then I also have like these other smaller ticket things um, where are they I I don't I usually do use um, a couple of elements um, from the paper line but there's this one you know that would probably go better like it fits but it's two girls and I you know I like to to put something another element in there then I have like this word couture which isn't really cut out right yet. Um, let's see. I could put the bling over here. Let's see. Have that. So I think I have to go with my original idea and just put it on top. So nothing's going to be popped up. I'm just going to put this on with um, Fabri-Tac. And maybe I'll throw a shoe on this one or one of the other gold elements. I like that little shoe. So this is going to go right there, push that down. Um, I think I'm going to use the glossy accents for this um, bling. It's just uh, definitely holds 
metal pieces better than any other glue I've ever used um, besides E6000 but you don't need to use E6000 for this because it's just um, on a card it's not something that's going to get really manipulated um, a lot all right and then this the pearls I need pearls it just needs pearls so I am going to put this and I don't know if I should go all the way up I think that might be good I'll cut two off the bottom and put a little bead down kind of let's see should I go see I kind of think it should go I, you know what I'm gonna go all the way to the edge which I don't usually do but I'm gonna go all the way to the edge with the pearls and use that as the edging. Okay. Ooh, I just laid it in something sticky. All right, so that's what they're looking like. Let me pull it to the front. Um. I'm not sure about over here, you know, I mean, and I don't know when to stop, you know me, but that lovely actually looks kind of cute there. I think I should ink that in black. And then this shoe could go definitely like right there or, no, I think that looks kind of good, like in the middle. So I hope this was helpful. That's basically it, you guys. That's what I do. I gather up all my supplies, kind of look at your placement first play with it a little bit lay things on top of each other see how they feel to you and just go for it all right so i hope that was helpful and thanks for watching